Hello everybody, this is Sly Attribution and welcome to an episode of Minecraft Attack of the B Team. Sorry guys, just kind of changing it up here. I'm trying to make my channel a little more interesting. Um, I'm back from years of death and like I always say, I say I'm going to be back but I never am. So you can't trust me. Not going to lie, not going to lie. I could just disappear for weeks on end again, but who knows. Um, so yeah, today guys, um, we're going to be doing a video on... A couple different things I'm gonna kind of go in some detail it's probably this could only be like maybe a 10 to 15 minute video and um, yeah uh, this is my old world it's been a while uh, last time you guys were here the only thing I think you guys saw up to was probably this right here actually this little water fountain wasn't here my frames are acting a bit wonky here uh, let's see if I can fix that uh, you know what let's I don't want to go peaceful um Go on. No, I don't want to go in tiny. I don't know what I want to do. You know what? Well, we're just going to leave it for now. Uh, we'll have to deal with the frame rates. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Dropping to four. That's uh, pretty bad. I think it's a pretty bad frame. I'm going to have to check that out after this video. But um, yeah. So I'm going to just kind of show you guys some of the buildings that I've built recently. Uh, get that out of the way. So over here, this building has been here for a while. And uh, I'm going to go in here and show you this. There might This might actually be two parts. You know, maybe about three or three or four things per video and I'm gonna kinda go into some detail um, so let me go into my self form and um, okay so first off here some of the things have been changed around like these paintings and stuff they weren't supposed to be like this but okay uh, yeah this is my dinosaur room so my fossil and archaeology mod room uh, there are these bone segments that kinda make up like these are from biomes of plenty actually but they kind of make up like a cool looking fossil that goes across the top and it's kind of got some support beams and things like that. Um, across here we have some shelves with uh, different items in it and then in here we kind of just have some some of the stuff for the actual mod, ugh, for the actual mod itself. Uh, the DNA, the cultivator, this is the analyzer. Um, then over here we have the uh, plesiosaur and you can open it up. This is kind of like a design based off of um, uh, I think it's generic bees where he's on the where he's in the space station. Then on the next floor you have uh, that diplo dilo dilophosaur. He never really comes off that little mound over there. Um, if you want to see what he looks like, this is what he looks like. Yeah, yeah, it looks fairly nice. He he uh, doesn't bite. He's a nice fella. Um, and then we kind of have this as more like a jungle setup. And uh, I didn't show you what this really looked like. This is more of like a tropical setup with like a palm tree and everything. And up at the very top, these frames are gonna make make me really mad. Then up here at the very top, we have the uh, saber cat with a cave-like structure. Uh, and then over there, we have some like little mound, like a little mound of dirt and stuff. And I like how this turned out. Um, so now we're gonna go back down, and um, I'm gonna show you this little part right here. This kind of just this little walkway. So this little walkway is inspired by or. Yeah, I guess you could say it was inspired by Etho and his walkways on, uh, I can't remember what mod pack it was, but um, it looks fairly nice. I like how it turned out. Uh, the outside is kind of more square, and then on the inside, it's like more rounded and more uh, precise, and I thought that looked pretty nice. Um, so from the inside, like once you come up, because you come up from right here, oop, creeper. Once you come up from right here, it looks like really nice. And for some reason, these crates are acting uh, buggy. If I click on them, they'll actually... Uh, crash my game so I'm not gonna do that then over here this is our original uh, it's been here for a while I'm just kinda just showing it off again the, the uh, Galacticraft kind of area where we launch off rockets and uh, over there is our greenhouse I think I've shown off that I've shown off the kitchen area and the greenhouse at the very top and then over here we have the little um, ship that I made with Archimedes and then down here this is something new too um, I really like how this turned out also. I like how everything turned out, otherwise I probably wouldn't have continued doing it. Um, but anyways, what it is, is it's like a marketplace. And uh, so how, how can you have Cloud City without a marketplace? Because like that's what this whole thing is modeled off of, is kind of like a, kinda a a look for Cloud City. That's what I'm looking for, you know. And uh, it looks, I think it's turning out pretty good. Uh, down below we have some, some like little support looking structures that look fairly nice um, throughout the whole thing which I'm not really going to show this off right now, but uh, and you've probably seen some of them before. But anyways, um, the marketplace, these are like the top of the stalls, and they look like little mushrooms. And then if you come down below, uh, you have each little stall. This one's connected, and I thought that looked 
fairly cool because it was a different design and uh, these little stalls are just kind of like square they're really small but uh, compact and that's what makes it cool though is that it's compact you know you don't want a marketplace that's huge but at the same time you don't want a marketplace that's too small you want it kind of and marketplaces are normally cluttered so you're kind of going for like a cluttered uh, you know homey feel almost kind of like you're in a small town and you've just walked into like the the ghetto village that nobody likes and everybody's stealing each other's money pretty much yep that's how I see this but anyways there's a librarian over here and it's like a little library slash bookstore uh, he's got some books and stuff a chair to sit in and a crafting table then over here you got the um, blacksmith which he's invisible no, I'm just kidding he's not invisible he's uh I don't know what happened to him I think he died because um, there's something up with that water fountain that I'll explain later probably in another video but um, actually no I'll probably explain that in this video but anyways he died most likely from some something that I'll tell you about in a little bit and uh, just some armor sets and things like that to kind of complete it with a uh, anvil and a uh, seared tank with some lava in it and things like that and again these are buggy so I'm not gonna click on those then and these things flop down by the way so any of these do from this one to that one too and uh, this right here this is kind of like a little tinkering guy if you know what I mean he's kind of like he works with all the mechanics and and things like that uh, he's got like a red he, he works with the redstone and stuff let's put it like that and uh, he's got a conveyor belt I just thought that looked kind of cool it was, it was uh, pretty neat I, I was thinking about making a system you know where it, it it puts it up on the conveyor belt and comes over here and then drops into like an item box and then sends it back over but I'm not gonna do that that'd be too much work yep too much work no I'm just kidding I just it would take uh, skill which I don't have so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I might try to do something like that sometime or another and this carpet I thought made it look kind of nice too but anyways then right here we have a witchery villager and I like how his little section turned out he has a witch's oven and the witch he actually has the witch hunter set because I thought that looked a little bit neater than just the witch armor and then he's got some potions and stuff oh being really laggy again some potions a brewing stand and some uh um oh the the crossbow and the the Arthana and things like that and I like how this turned out and I took some of the potions off the shelf so it looks like somebody's been taking some of them and I thought I liked how this uh, little section turned out because um, I just think the wood for any of these really matches what the theme is like this is tropical wood but you know it just kind of kind of goes with the books you know what I'm saying I don't know it's kind of kind of kind of roomy kind of homey I, almost, I didn't mean to say roomy whoops getting off topic anyways um, then we're gonna go over here and uh, I know I'm talking a lot in this episode, guys. You're going to have to bear with me. I'm trying to get back in the game and everything. But over here, we have the science room. And there's supposed to be a slimeling in there. When it's in there, it actually looks pretty decent. Because this villager always seems like he's looking at the slime for some reason. I think he just he loves the slime when he's over there. But the slime died, so I'll have to give him another one sometime or another. And just there's some things in here, like a microscope and a, and a gun. And the, um, the uh, power armor set and everything. And then over here you have some shelves and stuff. But anyways, guys, I think that's just about it for this episode. So I'll talk to you guys later. And peace.